Hey guys, what's going on? It's Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training. I have a great simple drill for kids out there looking to improve their hitting mechanics, okay? What we're basically gonna be doing with this drill is we're gonna be going through five different phases of the swing. I like to call this five point check. And before we get started, you know, I wanna mention that I do not believe that the swing should be robotic and really mechanical, right? I hate to see hitters in the box and they just look super like robots. They look like, you know, load, stride, swing, hips, hands, and they don't look fluid. You watch some of the best hitters in the game today, Robinson Cano, and he almost looks like he's up there sleeping. You know, he's so relaxed until the point of contact when he explodes on the ball, but he's just got so much swag in the box and it's almost, you know, it's, it's fun watching him. Him because he's such a great athlete um, but in the box he just looks so calm and relaxed and he's facing a guy you know throwing close to 100 miles an hour so that's the way that you need to be in the box that's the, the way that you need to swing is you need to be nice and relaxed but I think that it's very important to break down the swing so that you know exactly um, what needs to occur for example you know there's a lot of younger players out there after you load and you stride there's a lot of players once you're in this launch position a lot of players think that for some reason you know the hands go first the hands and then and then your your legs go um, or your hips go first and your hands lag back like this and everything has to work together so this drill I think is really gonna help you out it's it's simple, but bottom line, simple works, okay? So how we're gonna start this drill? You don't need a tee, you don't need anybody to throw to you or anything like that. I'd like to do it uh, you know, at your house in front of a mirror so you can really see what's going on. But all we're gonna do is we're gonna get into a good athletic stance, right? We're not gonna be up too tall, we're not gonna be hunched over or, or into our knees way too much. Just have some flex in your knees, right? Have a decent spine angle, meaning we're not straight up, we're not hunched over like this, have a decent spine angle, kind of like you're playing defense in basketball, okay? That's our starting position. Your knob needs to be facing the catcher, okay? I don't care if you start with your hands up here or your hands down here or your stance is open or your stance is closed, but I want your knob facing the catcher, okay? Because that's where we want it to be in the launch position and a little bit of flex in your knees, that's a good starting point, okay? Now, what are the five uh, checkpoints, okay? Let's get into the drill now. The very first one is your load. It's a simple, uh, your load can literally be picking up your front foot, that's a weight shift back. Okay, so that's step number one. We're gonna work on load, one. Then the next one is stride. As we stride, we want our, our hands to walk away from our body. So as my body goes forward, my hands go back, okay? Just naturally, we're not artificially pushing them or anything like that, it's just natural. So load, stride, those are the first two, I'll demonstrate, load, Stride, okay. As you can see, my foot landed probably about a 45 degree angle. It's open a little bit, my front foot. We got the load, the stride. Then the next phase is our hips and our hands, okay. You'll notice my back knee and my knob of my bat and my hands and my arms, all of that turns at the exact same rate, okay. It's not that my hips fire first and my hands are back here or my hands don't fire first and my hips are back there. Everything occurs simultaneously, naturally, freely, okay? So we got our load, our stride. Look at this, look at that move right there. Boom, my back knee and this knob turn simultaneously. My bat's starting to get on playing with the pitch. So that's step three. Step four, we're gonna get to contact. Our front knee is gonna go from a little flex in it to straightening that out, get to contact, okay? Palm up, palm down. Our hands are slightly above our barrel. And then the fifth and final checkpoint is we're gonna finish, okay? Extension through the baseball, finish high, okay? We don't wanna finish low and chop down. I'm finishing low, you see that? We wanna be palm up and we wanna finish high, okay? And that's really it. So the drill is you just go through the checkpoints, okay? And you can start really slow and work up your speed a little bit. But one more time, load, okay? Load, stride, hips and hands, get to contact and then finish, get some extension. Those are the five steps and that's really it. So start slow and gradually build your way up. You can look at yourself in a mirror, make sure you're doing everything right, okay? Good athletic position, knob facing the catcher, okay? Load, stride, hips, hands, okay? Get to contact, finish, just like that, okay? So hopefully you enjoyed this drill. If you have, guys, if you want to improve your bat speed five to 10 miles an hour with one simple mechanical tweak, what I want you to do is I want you to click on this image right here. That'll take you to my website. 
All I need from you is your email address and I will immediately fire you that video. And if you're on your mobile device, your phone, go ahead and click the first link in the description because that picture up there is not going to work. So the first link in the description, it's ultimatebaseballtraining.com slash bat speed. You can go get that free video where I share with you how to improve your bat speed within the next 10 minutes, okay? As always, if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up um, and be sure you're subscribed if you're not already. That way you won't miss any of our videos. And get in the comment section below. Let me know what you want me to make future videos about. And uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.